All right, the next step is spring length. Now you wanna make sure to measure the spring without the cone ends. So you do not wanna measure a spring that's already wound. So this one's already obviously unwound since it's not on the torsion system. So one thing that I wanna make sure you do is don't measure the cones themselves. You're just measuring the coil. So for this, you start at the left side and you go all the way to the, just where the cone starts here. Cause you're just measuring the length of the coil. Now, I'll tell you this, you wanna make sure if you're doing it in the air on the torsion system that you loosen the 7 16th bolts and you literally push them together and that's how you're gonna get it. Now, we got lucky on this one because this one says 25. So when we undid this one and we, it literally came unbound, it says 25 inches. It also says the wire length 218 on here. So a lot of them these days have them written on there. If you get lucky, it makes it super simple. But if not, it's super easy. You just combine them, measure the length, and boom, you got your length. You want to make sure to try to measure both if you have two coils because not every spring is the exact same as the other one. Sometimes the right and left are different, but usually you can eyeball that. 